and welcome back to flexible games where we are playing fortress craft evolved frozen factory well i am trying a new strategy here you know some people in the comments wanted me to um kind of challenge myself see if i can't get rid of one of these crowd spawners without using the torches so i am trying a different method here way down here we have the entry point to all the power and i'm doing a slightly different design for the channel i'm still doing three deep i think that's very efficient but i'm doing it you know so they're right in a row so they're all right next to one another and that poses a couple unique challenges <clears throat> for one uh, there is no central place to put all of the melters. So, there is no cryoplasm all the way through here. Oh yeah, and I used BFLs to dig through here. And uh, by the way, if you hook a BFL or two up to a system that can push 30,000 power per second, it's pretty freaking glorious. It is so awesome. I mean, they, these things dug this tunnel in a matter of probably two minutes. It was, it was uh, pretty impressive. Very loud, though. Very, very loud. So we've got a little cryoplasm peeking through here. I have no idea where that's actually coming from. I mean, there is nothing back here other than a lot of crystal. There's uh, about 500,000 crystal right there. And then here, that's 1.5 million crystal right here. And I actually dug through that it was 1.5 i think down it's now down to 1.4 um but yeah a huge amount of crystal way back here but there is some cryoplasm down this direction so i want to get started with this and one thing i did as you can see the channel this direction is down way down here the power beams into th these batteries, which I offset, and then I'm going to build the dazzlers up a level. So we're, we're raising up a level, and I think that will really help um, when we finally get to the corner uh, uh, cryo spawner. Um, I might have to raise it up one more, but we will see. Uh, so, without further ado, I want to build these. Be very careful when you're super building, because if you double click or overwrite a block, you will lose it. You will lose out. So these are going to start singing here in a second. Oh, okay. Let's not stand right in the path that would be a bad idea so is this yep these are going to charge this one's probably going to charge and this one's going to charge so let's go run over here and see the progress if i can i don't want to fall down there that would be very very bad um let's turn bloom off uh let's see detail bloom there we go. A little bit better. You can actually see stuff now. But as you can see, it's really chewing through that cryoplasm that was right there. The challenge now is actually um, getting my system set up here to melt it down and continue that process. I wish there was like a BFL or a similar device that could cut a channel and leave leave like a stair step pattern like that. That would be so handy in this situation. Okay, I actually need to jump down there. So we, yeah, we got a huge amount of cryoplasm in this area. Boy, that one's really going for it. Okay, this should have cleared out quite a bit. So yeah, this is all cleared out, except for obviously the stuff that isn't melted. 
and we're gonna want oh something else is charging over there oh yeah it's trying to hit cryoplasm that's way back in there and it's not gonna be able to hopefully it doesn't get stuck yeah you can't actually hit that why are you trying gonna do it again yeah I think this one's gonna be stuck so let's see if we can't uh... give it a little bit of leeway here and it's gonna stop right away I bet Oh no, it's actually clearing it. Looks like it's actually going through the cold the cold stone to clear to clear it out. Or there was just some way back there. Are you gonna are you gonna fire again? Okay, good. Alright, so the stair step pattern here is the basically the same just a wider tunnel now I could see what my options are here basically I need to somehow get power into the edges and I think I'll be able to do that Trying to keep it lit for everybody. And this one I'm going to take off here. I got, a, I got a macro on my mouse, but sometimes... It all depends on my frame rate. My frame rate is crap, and a macro really doesn't work. Let me just take some of this stuff out here. just because it's in the way okay collect all this oh I'm full I got a little bit of rubble I hate rubble and plants those things clog my inventory so much my inventory is actually in pretty bad shape right now so to get power I think what I'm gonna do is beam power this way from here like this why can't I make a window uh what what do I need to make a window Why is that not in here? Window. Oh, wooden planks. Okay. Yeah, I, uh... I, uh, fed all my wooden planks to... Let's see, put this there, and let's see, how am I going to raise this up? I might have to raise it up really slowly by going out like this and then doing the same thing over there without frying myself on the laser, the giant conduit laser. So I'm going to dig through here a little ways. Oh, we just missed that vein of... Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing right here.
And let's see, where am I in the world here? So I'm way over here. I need to start, yep. I need to start doing the melter pattern and I need a good reference point. So the other challenge, you know, to clear the cryo spawner without using that torch method. You know, it's a legitimate little legitimate thing um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it this way is I want to make sure I've got plenty of power really really focused where I need it okay so what pattern do I want to keep with this so I've got got the power beaming it's up here now so if I put another battery like right here I'm gonna kind of get out of the way here there's the there's that so I'm gonna put a battery here oh, I got plants again yep and rubble Okay, so I need to find out where that is before I get my pattern straight here. There it is. Kind of untested design here. Okay, so we are not enough high. We need to be we need the battery to be like, well that actually, that might work. No, I want, a bat I want the battery exposed, so I'm going to need to jut it up one more. Oh, I've got uh, a bunch of stuff on me. Here we go. So once I get this pattern set, we will be good to go. Okay, so right here, I want a double battery. And I need the window. And then I need the blocks to block it. You want to you want to double it up. So if you have a system that looks like this, but there's a gap in between, the cryoplasm will fall uh, diagonally into that block space. So you want to make sure you you always fill it up because it can't it can't then fall through a block. So be aware of that little mechanic, and you will save yourself a lot of heartache. careful when you do this kind of stuff too because those dazzlers behind you can easily easily start firing without warning well with very little warning it it will get brighter so now that we are kind of a little ways in I'm gonna start first I'm going to build me a light There we go. A little bit of light. Sort of like that. And uh, let's drop. No, I want to do this. Drop that. Pick up those and put my first melter down right along here and that should start clearing a little bit of this away while I get the other side set up so we're going to do a same the similar a similar system and we're going to come off of this battery instead so 
this battery is where we're going to pull this from. Uh, first, let's do windows. And do this. And now we've got a clear amount of space back here. Another battery. Another offset. You can see that Dazzler immediately started firing once that melter started going, which is why I wanted to move over here. So we are basically at ground level right here, and I need to go up to this level here. So we're going to go a little ways, not probably as far as the last time, because we got a little bit more cryoplasm to deal with on this side. They're definitely, they're definitely going strong. Okay, so now we're one above. Okay, I'm kind of peeking out here. So, we want to make sure that that is not compromised right there. And then we're going to have to take all these blocks out for now. Just so I can see where I'm at with the cryoplasm. And then do the offset thing again. And now we're at the level where we need to start worrying about windows. Because up here, I don't really need them up to this point. So we are going to hit this up with a battery. And then another battery. Very same. Essentially the same. Not, uh, not identical, but essentially the same. And we are going to build this up. Just so if we do get a little bit of meltage going on here, it has a tendency to flow into our channel. You now you can't build on top of cryo, so you got to have a, a decent block somewhere close. This is still melting, so let's add another one to help it along. Looks like this branch came from that direction. But I am going kitty corner. So if I, I bet you if I K this, there'll be a purple dot somewhere over here as soon as it loads in. Okay, so there's one way over there. There's one way over there. I think that's the corner one. That's kind of the one we're going after. Not sure what that one is. That one might be aligned with that straight away. So if I continue going straight from there, which I could do, um, th this design, all you'd need to do is create a channel and these things could fire in, in you know, they could te technically fire in four different directions. It's a little slow if you have a lot of cryoplasm, but they can do it. we go some of these are melting back here I can take care of some of that miscellaneous stuff with Falcor bombers so some of this bulk stuff in here I can just come in here and give myself a little bomber action so I'll do a couple bombers and a little bit of Little bombs, a little bit of bombs. I want to keep some bombs. I'm going to use a vast number of bombs when it comes to trying to clear that inferno. I'm probably going to have, you know, 20 bombers parked right next to that in, that uh, cryo spawner, and we're going to see if bombers can help keep that area clear. It's going to be a lot of waste of cryo bombs, but. I think in the long run it'll be worth 
worth it. There we go. Train! Yay! So yeah, these are already starting to clear this out. <laughs> Melters are doing their part. Now one thing the cryo bombs do help with is they'll clear a lot of this stuff out and I'll be able to continue my step system. Oh, that thing is just firing like crazy. You need to stop firing. Yeah, you're not even... Wasn't even progressing anywhere. Alright, I kind of want to match these up. So, the next one will go right here. Oh, yeah, it just... Do you see that? It filled up with cryoplasm as soon as I played... As soon as I dug it out. You want to also be careful of that laser. The la giant laser beam of doom. Quite the large hitbox. Um, let's grab some concrete just so I can continue that. Actually, I'm going to put a lancer right away in there. Try to clear out some of that area in there. So I can line these up properly. Lancers help take care of little bitty issues. So I don't know where my falcons are going. Looks like they're digging out a channel or something. Yeah. It's so weird how they ignore like stuff that's right next to them. Always wondered why they do that. Why is that not beaming very fast? Is this battery just dead? Did I not put a lens on that? Okay, where is... No, I didn't. That's why. How about on the other one? Yeah, I did put a lens on the other one, so that's fine. There we go. A little bit better. There we go. pretty good we got this whole huge mountain of cryoplasm right here but I think we can ignore it for the most part I don't know where the bombers went they must be deep within that little area over there crazy yeah this this system would work these things can hit quite a ways away so I think one on both sides will be able to do a little dome around here. Clearing out a nice space for us. Not sure how far to go. I was going to go, so that's the 128 to this. I was going to go 128 over. Another 128 over this way. And then see where we go from there. It's the zigzag approach because you really there's no way to fire it diagonally at anything um, so the dazzlers don't fire you know diagonally it's very strict compass directions okay so you're melting stuff way back here I don't really care about that care about all this stuff up here So we're going to do a Lancer right there. This is now full. Is this 
Yeah, this has got a lens in it. Just making sure. Never know. But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.